Let me and the people of God worship the name of Jesus. Let me and the people of God worship the name of Jesus. Let me and you call him by his name. Let me and you call him by his name. And for each blessing, we
and delivered glory to his name for I was bound and chained in the fire of sin I am delivered praise the Lord he lifted me up from the miry clay he planted my feet on the rock to stay and that is the reason why I sing and I shout the Lord a praise in this room can we give the Lord a shout of praise in this room tonight can we give the Lord a shout of hallelujah can we give the Lord another shout of hallelujah one more time give the Lord a shout of hallelujah praise the name of the Lord you may be seated in the presence of the Lord the song declare oh what singing oh what shouting on the happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory. Hallelujah. When we meet our blessed Savior. 
in the sky. Anybody in this room tonight anticipating that day? Amen. Anybody in this room today anticipating that day? Praise the name of the Lord when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. Tonight I honor him who is the head of our life and our soon coming king. In him we live and move and have our being. We just worship him tonight. I want to honor, amen, Minister Mario, Christian, his wife, Deacon Barrington Knight. Praise the Lord, missionaries. Amen. My brothers and sisters, musicians, praise God. Those viewing on Facebook Live, I want to greet you tonight in the most exalted name, the name of Jesus. Last but not least, I want to acknowledge the presence of my wife, beautiful wife, Sister Kamola Tate, Malcolm Viewing. Amen. Via Facebook Live tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. I certainly honor her. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I just want to spend about 15 minutes tonight in sharing the word with us, after which we'll be doing some prayers. Amen. As we're here tonight, our worship word and prayer. I just want to bring our attention real quick to St. Matthew chapter number 11. And I'll just be reading from verse 1 down to verse 5. Amen. St. Matthew 11 verse 1 to verse 5. And it says, and it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and shew John again those things which he do hear, and see five unappointed. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor of the gospel preach to them. This is the word of the Almighty God. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Tonight, body of Christ, I just want to be with you for about 15 minutes or so. Amen. But for the short period of time, I will be here. I want to reason with us on the subject, just as he said. Amen. Just as he said. Amen. And as we all know, the word of God declares that he is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. We are the Bible believing people tonight. He is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Amen. And so, whatever word comes from the mouth of God, we should take it just as he said it. Are you hearing me tonight? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And so, beloved, it is true that Christ came on this earth for a specific purpose. And I don't know about you tonight, but when I look at the history of humanity and the world itself and where the world was, the condition that the world was in, why Christ had to come, I am truly grateful, beloved, that he saw the need, Deacon Knight. He saw it fit to come and rescue us Amen, Sister Rule, from the place we were. Amen. And, and for those of us who don't understand the place that we were as a people in the world, 
Somebody put it in a song. It says, I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the peaceful shore. Very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry. In other words, the world was so messed up that the cry of the people went out. Amen. And from the water he lifted me. From the mess, from the sins he lifted me. And as a result of him lifting us, we are at a better place. We are at a place of safety. Praise the name of the Lord. And so I am eternally grateful to God for the fact that he saw it need, despite our condition, the song declared he looked beyond our fault and he saw our need. But before he came on the scene body of Christ, there were much prophecies that went out concerning him. Praise the name of the Lord. There were much prophecies that went out concerning Jesus Christ. And there is one in particular that is found in Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 15. It says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sight, a sign, rather, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the heaver and choose the good. That was Isaiah, according to Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14 and 15. Micah also prophesied of him, Micah 5 and verse 2 declares, But thou, Bethlehem, Euphrathah, thou, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from old, from everlasting. That was Micah according to chapter 5 and verse 2. But here it is. That even Isaiah again prophesied of him. When you look in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 and 7. It says, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called, come on with me, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and the peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David. And over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. Please understand tonight, body of Christ, praise the name of the Lord, that though prophets prophesied of him, he himself, when he came on the scene, also prophesied and what he did he also fulfilled a prophecy the very words that Isaiah declared according to Isaiah chapter number 61 anybody know that passage when Isaiah declared what Jesus would himself declare when he would, when he entered the scene Isaiah declared according to chapter 61 it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Praise the name of the Lord. And verse 19 declares 
uh, I, I, I'm really quoting, reading from um, Luke 4, but it's the same word that Jesus, that Isaiah declared in chapter um, 61, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Now, Jesus, while entered the scene and was about, Minister Mario Christi, to walk in his God-given purpose. The Bible said that at a particular day when a man, he would normally go in the synagogue on the Sabbath to read and to teach this particular Sabbath, what he did, he asked for the scroll as usual. And he skipped over until he got to Isaiah chapter 61. And he read from chapter 61 and he, he declared because at this point Isaiah already prophesied. Isaiah spoke these words years before Jesus came on the scene. But the purpose for which he came, Sister Rule, was about to be fulfilled. And so Jesus himself repeated these words. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath what? anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. So, Jesus himself repeated those words, and if you read throughout the Gospels, you would find it where everywhere he went, he did good. Namely, he laid his hands on the sick. They recovered. At one point, he, I think he spat on the mud deacon night. And he wiped the mud on the high of one that was blind. And that person received his sight. The woman that was caught in the act of adultery, she was condemned to die. And what he did, he forgave sin. And he gave her the opportunity to live. Over in the land of the gatherings and in other places, Jesus cast out demons from those who were demon possessed. Those who had leprosy, he cleansed their leprosy. He raised Lazarus from the dead. Are you hearing me? There were those who were paralyzed in their legs, in their bodies. And what he did, he spoke over them. For some, he touched them and they were made whole. They were delivered. Praise God. But listen, the foundation text tonight, praise God, speak to John the Baptist as he was now in prison. John the Baptist heard all the miracles and the signs that Jesus performed while he was on earth. And so John the Baptist heard and he wanted to know if this man was truly the Christ. But John the Baptist himself at one of his baptismal service, John the Baptist spoke these words to those in his hearing. John the Baptist declared according to Matthew 3 and verse, 3, verse 11. John says, I indeed baptize you with what? With water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is more mightier than I. Whose shoe I am unable, I'm unworthy rather, to bear. John the Baptist said, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So John the Baptist himself prophesied of him. Praise God. But while John was in prison, he heard the good news of the lame walking and the deaf hearing and the blind seeing and the dead raising and the leopard cleansing. He heard all that Jesus was doing. So what John the Baptist did, brothers and sisters, he sent his disciples, two of them, because he wanted affirmation. He wanted, amen, to be sure that this is the Christ that he has long waited for. 
So the Bible says, and it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanded his, his 12 disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now when John heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come? Or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which he do hear and see. Now please understand that the very words that Jesus declared, praise God, according to Luke, as I read a few moments ago. Jesus now was repeating these very words according to verse 5 of Matthew 11. He said to them, according to verse 4, Go and shoot John again thou things which he do and hear, do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor of the gospel preach unto them. So in other words, Jesus was saying to John the Baptist, you are not certain about who I am. That's why you sent your disciples to ask, are you he that should come or should we expect another? Jesus was reminding John the Baptist that I, Jesus says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. And so Jesus was telling him, go tell John, amen, just in case you doubt who I am, Go tell brother John, amen, that the blind is receiving their sight. The lame begin walking. The lepers are cleansed, amen. The deaf, amen, they are hearing. The dead are being raised up. The poor, amen, are hearing the gospel just as I said it. My God, as I, amen, take my time to wrap this up, I did tell you that I'll be here for 15 minutes. Praise God, Jesus opened his mouth and he reminded them what he did say. Praise God in St. Luke chapter 4. Amen. And he was carrying out the very words that he said he would carry out. I don't know why you're here tonight. Amen. I don't know what you're going through. Amen. In your life, even now, as we're in the presence of God. But I want you to understand tonight that whatever promises God had made to you, amen, I want you to understand that he will cause it to happen just as he said it. Are you hearing me tonight? Just as he said, I will cause the lame to walk, I'll cause the blind to see, I'll cause the dumb to hear, amen, the blind to see and the dumb to speak. Praise God and he did it so that the people would know that he was the Christ. I want the body of Christ to know tonight uh, that whatever circumstances uh, you are experiencing tonight, uh, just believe God to work in your life uh, just as he said he would. Uh, trouble in your life. Uh, Hand it over to him uh, and make him uh, your problem solver uh, just as he said he would. Uh, my God, ma, you, you have problem financially. Praise God. Call him. Uh, amen. As your financial uh, fin sack. Uh, and he will work it out uh, just as he said he would. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, sickness in your body. Praise God. Uh, make him your healer. And he will heal you uh, just as uh, he said he would. Uh, my God, I wish I can find four persons who understand uh, what I'm saying tonight. Uh, trouble with your, with your neighbors. Uh, 
hand it over to him and he will fix it for you just as he said he would my god you're having problem at your workplace hand it over to him and he will fix it for you just as he said he would can i tell you what he said minister mario christie he said we are to cast our cares upon him because he cared for us i don't know what kind of cares you have some of us going through financial struggles marital struggles relational struggles spiritual struggles emotional struggles mental struggles but whatever the struggles are i can recommend my god to any man tonight for when i'm sick he heal me when i'm sad he makes me glad i don't know about you tonight but i am excited that there is a god that the word of god says is not a man that he should lie neither is he the son of man that he should repent i want to assure somebody tonight that if god say he's gonna fix it he's gonna fix it if god say he's gonna turn you around he's gonna turn you around if he says he's gonna open doors he's gonna open doors if he says he's gonna make your enemies your footstool he's gonna make your enemies your footstool if he says he's gonna give you a promotion he's gonna give you a promotion if he says he's gonna fill you with the holy ghost he's gonna fill you with the holy ghost if he says he's gonna give you a fresh anointing he's gonna give your fresh anointing if he says gonna make you gifted he's gonna make you gifted if he say gonna make your gift make room for you he's gonna make your gift to make room for you is there anybody in this room you have received a word from God and you have been doubting him because you have heard all kind of stuff I stop by to let you know God cannot lie God cannot lie. If he said it, you better believe it. Because he's going to work on it. It may not come when you want it. But I promise you, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint the vision tarry oh god almighty i said though the vision tarry wait on it in other words though it delay it seemed like it not going to come it seemed like it not going to happen it seemed like god had forgotten you may feel down and feel like god has somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances you cannot get through but can i talk to you right now it seems there's no way out and you're going under but god proven times and times again he'll fix it for you just as he said he will deliver you just as he said he'll pick you up just as he said and as he said to you no weapon formed against you will ever prosper and every tongue rise against you in judgment shall be condemned just as he said God said you shall not die but live and declare the devil can't kill what God has anointed to live if God said it you better believe it and declare it tell the enemy weeping may endure for a night but joy I would to God somebody would jump to your feet give somebody an high five and tell them just as he says it he will do it and a matter of fact 
the promises that God made to you you better position yourself because God is about getting ready to catapult somebody into their purpose I feel God God is about getting ready to catapult somebody into their purpose so the next time your back goes against the wall the next time somebody criticizes you the next time you go to the river the next time you go to the fire the next time you go to the valley it's just God making ready to set you up wish I have somebody who knows what I'm talking about tell somebody get ready get ready God said it get ready out of the mouth of the living God comes the truth of the Almighty God tell somebody get ready get ready get ready the devil can't stop what God had declared the devil can't alter what God fixed the devil can't change what God says if the law of the Medes and Persia cannot be altered what says the law who shut up what says the law of God if the Medes and Persia is fixed and cannot be changed what says the word of the Almighty God can I prophesy what God says is final I don't know who I'm talking to in this house don't worry about what everybody else says because God has who thunder has the final say God has the final say do me a favor I'm closing hold on to somebody and say neighbor all that you do just hold on to it come on hold on to somebody say neighbor hold to it rocket neighbor rocket fight neighbor fight fight neighbor fight fight neighbor fight hold on to your miracle hold on to your blessing hold on to your breakthrough hold on to your healing hold on God just do it God will do it just as he said he will do God will do it just as he said he will do it weeping may endure for a night but joy somebody said joy I, I. I'm prophesying, I'm prophesying in this house. Jesus' signs shall follow them that believe and those that believe out of your belly. Can I prophesy? Shall flow rivers of living water. Can I see the hands of the believers tonight? Say, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe can I preach now I believe that I'm healed I believe that I'm delivered I believe that I'm set free I believe that my barrenness is no more I believe that my spiritual life is awakened I believe that revival is coming to my house I believe that no weapon Farm against me will not prosper. I believe as he said it, it's gonna happen. Do me a favor, give the Lord a holy bow shout. invested too much in you to make the devil win I said God has invested too much in you to let the devil win
said, God, put too much in you to let the devil win. In other words, the devil can't win. I said, God, I invested too much, minister. Sometimes we lose sight. Sometimes where we are causes us to lose sight. John was confined in prison and he had lost sight. He had been hearing about the miracles, but he wasn't sure. Do me a favor tonight. Tell the person beside the neighbor, I'm sure. No doubt in my mind. Come on, tell the neighbor, neighbor, I'm sure. In my closing, my Lord, what messes us up? Sometimes we misinterpret God's timing with our timing. And as a result, we find ourselves in a state of confusion because our expectations is not corresponding with our experiences. So because we're not experiencing what we expect without God. But I wish that we can find about 25 people in this room tonight who will say, I'm sure. Talk to me, the people. Christy, God is precise. I told you, you know, this morning something happened. That only my servant minister Christy was privy to. And this is all this is why I, I, I know God is real. I was on the phone with them talking about something that went down. And we we were even thinking how oh, we could approach it, but it was very hard to approach. Yeah? And I was driving in Old Harbor and I needed to go to the to the post office for my wife. And just as I was stepping up on the post office step, I said to Minister Chris, look more, I said, look more, something like that. I would say, all right, look more, we'll talk. And as I hung up the phone, I stepped in. And when I stepped in, the very thing that we were talking about, a police officer, her phone rang. And she started talking about the same thing with the same person. And I was next in line. And I'm not nosy. But when I heard what was happening, I was next in line. And I stepped out because I want to hear the rest. <laughs> Mr. Mena nosy. I wanted confirmation. And when I heard all that I needed to hear, I said, Minister Christie, how can we doubt God? Can I tell you, if God wills something for you, yes. he will align you right in the place. He will position you so that whatever information is, be, is being related, you are privy to it. You don't know what that information does for me. And for Minister Christie, when I shared it with him, all he could say was, wow. No. Nobody take me and share the testimony because more I'm going to feel like say, God does work for me alone. I want you all to understand that if God said it, he's going to do it just as he said he will. No, he can't lie. Deacon Knight, the man is so perfect that he can't say sorry. There is no need to say sorry. My God Almighty. In fact, the Holy Spirit just remind me that I think the only time I ever hear God say I'm sorry, he the word repent, is when he met man. <laughs> he repented that he made man. That was the only time. 
and I and, 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 I, and I, I I wouldn't attribute that to imperfection either no. because whom he foreknew he predestinated he is all knowing omniscient omnipresent omnipotent all powerful sovereign Christy boy You see, if we can get to the place where we begin trusting God and Tidana, our problem is this, our problem, our trust in God, you know, the trust that we should have in God is not there. And so because we, we don't trust him fully, our faith in him wavers. And his word says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. In other words, we prevent God from working on our behalf. But if we can align our faith, Christy, with the will of God for us. Anything that comes from his mouth concerning us, nothing can stop it. David says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of man. Not even your enemies can stop it. Just as he said. So when John the Baptist got the news, it was affirmed that this is the Christ and he shouldn't look for anybody else. Can I say this to us tonight? I want to affirm your faith in God so that whatever God says he's going to do in your life, you believe him to do it and not look for somebody else to do it. So what he did is settled John's doubt. He did not say yes. And he did not say no. He said to the disciples, go tell John all that you see and heard. Dead race, blind see, dumb talk, cripple walk, lepers cleanse, and the gospel is preached. Isn't, it, isn't that what Christ said in Luke 4? So as I close tonight, what more do we want him to say to us for us to believe how powerful he is? All we, Christy boy, we don't need God to do more for us, for us to be more grateful. We just need to be more grateful for that which he has already done. So as I affirm our faith tonight, let us at this point in our lives begin trusting God to do the exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or even imagine according to the power that worketh in us he has done it for many before for some of you he has already done it and so we should have a history of victory. We should have a history of victory. In other words, we should have a chain of victory that he has already given unto us. That when struggles come, sister rule, I can say, but God has delivered me from gunman before. He has delivered me from hungry. He has delivered me from nakedness. He has delivered me from all kind of issues. So what is this for him to bring me out of? I close right here. God will do it for you. Just as he said he would. <laughs> he do. He died. And the cross to say, What more do you want him to do? Do you want him to do? Come on, body of Christ, what more? What more do you want? 
came to do to prove to prove that he loved you yes he do he died on the cross to save save us all what more do you want take me down father in the name of Jesus as I approach your mercy seat where you hear and answer prayer with penitent heart I come before you as your word says a broken and a contrite heart the whole Lord will not despise and so I come tonight knowing that you are my heavenly father my creator my way maker my bridge over troubled water I come tonight knowing that you are my rock in a weary land. Shelter in the time of storm. And so God, as I take the initiative of coming before you tonight, I am aware that you are a holy and a righteous God. One that cannot tolerate sin as you are holy and righteous and so God I pray that you will purify this lump of clay wash me now father make me clean cleanse me and make me whiter than snow so God the bones with thou as broken can rejoice once more and so God I you as I enter the throne room let no sin of mine be an indurance or a deterrent to this prayer from coming up to you in the name of Jesus and so God I present the body of Christ before you tonight we are aware God that your word says we are all sinners that needs salvation but we are thankful father that your word declare we are sin abound grace is much more abound and so we come before you tonight recognizing that your grace is sufficient oh God almighty and so God I declare tonight that you will take us just as we are Wash us tonight, Father. Cleanse us, Holy Spirit. And cause us as we enter before your presence that we will humble ourselves. Oh, God, knowing that, God, we deserve death. But mercy, God Almighty, the, the mercy is the determined that we live tonight. Help us, God Almighty, as we reach out to you. Help us as we cry out to you as a people tonight. As your word said, if my people who are called by my name uh, should humble themselves, seek my face and pray and turn from their wicked ways. Father, help us as we come uh, tonight, God, uh, that we will empty ourselves before you. In the name of Jesus. Help us not to leave as we came tonight. But Father God, whatever the issues are, we pray that we will lay them on the halter tonight. As the song man declare, is your hall on the halter of sacrifice laid? That's all your hall, the spirit controller. You can only be blessed and of peace and sweet rest when you heal him, your body and soul. Father God, help us to heal to you tonight, our body and soul. In the name of Jesus whatever issues that we have individually we pray God that you will meet us at the point of our need 
forgive if there's any sin in the lives of your people. You said in your words that you are faithful and just to forgive. Forgive your people tonight of every iniquity, every trespasses and sin, and cause us, Heavenly Father, to know you, whom to know is life eternal. Help us, God, that our minds as believers will be fixed on you and not on the things of the world. Help us, God, that our hearts will pine after your righteousness and your holiness and not the things of the flesh. Because in fact, your words made it distinctly clear to us that there is therefore no, no condemnation to them that are in Christ who are not after the flesh but after the spirit. Will you tonight bring deliverance to your people? Will you tonight bring healing and breakthroughs, miracles, signs and wonders? So God, as we make it that, that, that effort to come before your God to seek you in prayer, in worship, and through your words. Will you grant us the good desires of our hearts? Not just for us in the four walls only, but for those who are viewing via Facebook Live. I pray, God, that they too, wherever they are, in their dining room, in their kitchen, in their bathroom, in their bedrooms, on their verandas, on their rooftop, wherever they are, in their cars, at the, on the job father wherever they are tonight i pray god in the name of jesus that you will meet them too at the point of their need so god when this life is ended tonight god they too can rejoice said saying it was a wonderful experience in the presence of god let the weak say i'm strong and the poor say i'm rich father remember the sick among us the broken-hearted the weak the discouraged i pray for strength strength like no other strength like no other strength like no other do it tonight father and God, whatever we fail of asking tonight, fail not to grant it unto us. Even the candidates, God, who took the time out to come this evening for baptismal class, thank you for them. Continue to work on their hearts. Breathe into them, Lord, the divine Holy Spirit and the urge to serve you. The hunger and the thirst for righteousness thank you for deacon knight as he avail himself to impart unto them spiritual food wisdom knowledge and understanding give back to him as he impart into them as he pour into them pour back into him re-energize him refuel him in the name of jesus and let not the enemy come back at him with backlashes but father i pray that angels will encamp around about him because he fear you bless him now cause his store basket never to be empty i swing him in your care tonight in the name of Jesus. Father God, tonight I commit into your hands. Marie McFarlane, mother in the hospital. Lord, remember Miss Laura tonight in the name of Jesus. You know which hospital Miss Laura is in. Hallelujah. It is no secret what you can do. 
what you've done for many others you can do it for Miss Laura tonight Father we stand at a central location tonight Agape Church of God when they 80 North Street and we declare it is no secret you can do there is no distance in prayer and so God I believe you wherever Miss Laura is tonight that you will locate her tonight God in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray God that you will heal her body soul and mind tonight in the name of Jesus father I pray that you will wrought a work in his life so God healing can flow through her body we believe you by faith that it shall be so healing is the children's bread and the last time I checked she belongs to you heal her now in Jesus name somebody declare in Jesus name somebody declare in Jesus name one more time somebody declare in Jesus name praise the Lord stand with me everybody I'm sending you home oh bless the name God sending you home lift your hands with me let me pronounce a blessing hallelujah the Lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face to shine upon thee the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and grant thee his peace. In Jesus' name, somebody shout something. Somebody shout something. God bless you tonight. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Love you all. In Jesus' name. Yes, Auntie Whitey. the pain away i'm so in love with you you make me happy